When it comes to designing the pages of your website and the content on the pages themselves, you're gonna use these four tools right here on the left. Now let's go over the pages and design section. First, you have the pages. Now here we're essentially listing all the pages on our website. Now the cool thing is we can add pages, we can remove pages, or we can even decide to actually put a page within another by simply dragging it and then letting it fall underneath and now it's a subcategory page and we can even choose the way it actually is displayed as far as the actual navigation and the drop down. Uh, for instance, if we want to choose to actually, uh, let's choose the, again, our adult t-shirts page. Once you actually choose the actual page, the site is going to take you to the page where you can actually manipulate the content on it and even the advanced settings. So within your advanced settings, you're actually going to choose, okay, is this actually going to display in the main menu? Uh, is it going to be displaying breadcrumbs, a fixed header, floating header? Uh, there are many different options you can choose as far as how each page is going to be displayed and also the overall site uh, header, footer, and body of that page. The meta tags is essentially where you're going to put all of your important SEO information. Whenever a search engine is uh, crawling your site and they're wanting to know what exactly your site is actually offering to customers, they're going to be looking at your meta information and that's going to drastically affect the way you're ranked on a search engine. Lastly, within pages, we also have our system pages, which includes user, checkout, product, others, and commercial. Now these pages are essentially the pages that whenever a customer is checking out or they're looking to purchase a product or they're looking at your privacy policy or user agreement, all of those uh, essentially terms and so forth are within here and they are semi-editable. You can more or less change the actual look of these pages, but you cannot manipulate all of the content as most of them are variable based and they must be set by the fulfillment center. Now, uh, again, when you're using the pages section, this is how you're going to navigate your site as far as what page you're going to edit its content on. Now, once you're actually on a page's content, you can then start using the design widgets and panels. Now, within the actual design, this is more of the overall design of your site and not so much exactly to each page. First, you have the logo and title. Now, the title's right here. If we want, we could upload a logo and it would replace this title. We can also choose to have a mobile logo image, uh, the page title itself, which again is very important for search engines, and then your address bar icon is actually the favicon that sits at the top left of the address. Uh, outside of design, uh, you also have the style editor. The style editor is actually where you're going to control the header and footer color scheme and how it's kind of going to function exactly uh, as far as the actual font and again how it's going to be uh, working as far as behind the scenes. You can also choose to add buttons as far as standard, minor action, important action, or a hero action. Uh, again, there are many different settings you can set as far as the style editor between the header footer and body of your site. Now actually very similar to the style editor is the page options. The page options essentially are going to allow you to again manipulate the header, footer and body of the site and how exactly it's going to display its content. Even as such as just the way that the uh, navigation displays maybe a drop down menu. Again there are many different variables within here to get right but once you actually configure them you don't typically manipulate them continuously. The last part of the design section is actually the social site links. This is where you're going to want to upload all of the uh, connections to your social media outlets as far as Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. If you have any questions on how to manipulate the page and design sections of your site, please do not hesitate contacting us. Thank you.